Hi there and welcome to the video. Welcome back to my office. My name is Nick and I am a reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet for profit. That's how I earn a living. For this video I want to talk about this massive collection of classical CDs. You may have seen in a recent pickups video me stuffing the back of our mini with these CDs. Now I paid, I've written it down, well how many there are, I've just counted them, paid £30 for 724 CDs. They're virtually all classical, a couple of bits of uh, random pop in there, but it's 99% classical music. So my investment was four pence an album. But here's the thing, it is such a huge lot to deal with, what I've decided to do is to go through everything and scan it into the music buyers. By that I mean Music Magpie, Ziffit, We Buy Books, the internet based companies that offer to buy your media. I've made a bit of a start, I've got some piles going on that are going to the different uh, buyers. Um, yeah, I've got several piles going on, it's getting a bit chaotic. So how I'm doing it, I've got several tabs open. Uh, so. This is a good example. I've scanned this, I've uh, got a barcode scanner here. So I've scanned the barcode into Magpie and they are offering 20 pence. Zip it for the exactly the same CD, 97. And we buy books, um, one pound 10. And the other one I'm trying with very mixed success so far, uh, 78p from Momox. So clearly I'm not taking that. I'm going to take £1.10. Yeah, what was Ziffit offering? 97. So yeah. So simply take that out of the basket on there. And clearly I'm going to reject the 20 pence there we go so that is going on this pile so there we go so these are rejects so far um a few that nobody will take uh we buy books momox uh ziffit and magpie If you take one thing away from this, it is to, to check different sites because what you're going to be offered can vary immensely. Um, the pile of rejects is growing rapidly as well, so it'll be interesting to see by the end of this what percentage out of the 700 odd none of these media buyers will take. Um, but it's it's strangely enjoyable at the moment. Hello again, right, it's now another day. Um, yesterday I didn't really crack on with this. Um, we pretty much took the day off. Uh, we went out and we ended up in the pub, as you do. Um, but I'm back on it again now. The pile of to-do, which is at the back there, is way, way less now. A box was already picked up today that was going to zip it because I'd filled a box. Uh, that went and that was 43 pounds and four pence worth, which is already gone. So I have a way to go. Whether I will get all of that finished tonight, I don't know. It is way past the point of it being fun now. I just want it over with, just endlessly scanning and scanning and scanning. Yeah, I'm kind of over this. I just want it finished. 
but I, I'm, it's intriguing to see what the final totals will be. Okay, little bit of progress. I have filled another box to go to zip it, so I'm going to finish that one. Okay, so this is the second box, so 4164 uh, there. I'm leaving a little bit of space around, so I'm going to pad it with cardboard. Um, but that is now good to go, and then we'll start another zip it box. And there you go, as if by magic, that's all ready to go. Uh, I've just boxed up a magpie one as well, so that's going to be dropped off at Hermes. Um, this is the beginnings of the next magpie lot. So we're getting there. I've made it, I've done it, we have got there. No longer are there any stacks at the back, it has all been processed. So I can now give you some results. Um, I started with 724 CDs from this pickup that cost me £30. The music buyers, uh, I've been scanning into four different music buyers, they have bought 356. So what's that? Uh, it's a little under half. A little bit under half they've taken. So I have all of these left now these I'm either going to job lot, I'm thinking Facebook actually, it's a big stack of CDs. So let's see what the breakdown is and how much we actually made selling them to the music buyers. We start with Magpie. They um, took 84 CDs and they've given a total of £18.25, offering an average of 21p. Now, they made an offer on quite a high percentage of this, but they were rarely the highest offer out of the four. As I said before, they're quite stingy, but they do take a lot of stuff. So that was Magpie. Uh, Ziffit took 179, um, so they were the highest offer on 179. Uh, and they paid £101.75, pence, bringing an average of 56 pence a CD. Um, they were the best, clearly the best. We Buy Books have bought 55 CDs and they've paid out £35.33, um, an average of 64 pence. And then the last one we were using was Momox. Uh, they have bought 38 CDs for a total of £41.46, with the highest average by a long way of £1.09. But they were, only, um, they were only the highest offer on 38 out of all of those CDs. So the grand totals came to £196.79p is what I have been offered and I have accepted from the music buyers for 356 CDs. An average offer that they have paid me of 55 pence a CD. So was it worth it? Um, how long has it taken me for a start? I should have tracked the time. I, I don't know how many hours. It's been a lot of hours sat here scanning. It's dull, it's repetitive, but it's just scanning CDs into apps, right? It's, well, websites. I was doing it on the desktop. Um, but it is a, a, a whole load of hours and it's monotonous and dull. But I spent 30 pounds, an average of four pence a CD. I've now got a fraction under 200 pounds coming to me. Um, now I've got to ship all of these off, that is free. They all offer free courier, so that's not going to cost me anything. There's usually a few they don't take. Most of these are in great condition. A few have slight issues with the sleeves or a few scratches on, so there'll be a, a handful they won't take, no doubt. Um, so yeah, I think it's worth it. And remember, I have, I don't know what that is, like 200 odd, maybe more, that I can job lot. I've no idea what I'll get on those, but that's extra money to come in. Um, 
So for the several hours work, I've turned 30 pounds into just under 200 with that lot left to go. You make of that what you will. I think it was well worth doing. The other thing that's worth mentioning here is normally when I send stuff into the music buyers or when I scan a load, if something comes up as quite expensive, like they're offering 50p a pound or beyond, I will check it on eBay or Amazon. And I did that many times during this. Um, I chose to send it all to the media buyers this time. The few things that came up and were obviously quite expensive on Amazon had ridiculously high ranks, like 300,000 rank, 400,000 rank. I'm happy to get a quick turnover on this. Um, I checked some of them on eBay. There was, they were available on eBay. There was very scant, very rare sales history that I could find. I decided after looking up a bunch of these, I was just gonna send it all to the media buyers and that's what I've done. Um, but do bear that in mind. If the media buyers are offering you a pound or so for a disc, it will have more value somewhere. How quickly you're likely to sell it is a whole other ball game. Anyway, it's late here now. I'm going to bed because I'm up for the car boot sales tomorrow. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.